Why have you been pulled over? For no reason. So what what did they say when identifying the stop? They tried to say drug search, and drug then they search. said that we, we cut a red light. Cut you a cut a red light, light and it's for a drug search. Yeah. But they put you in handcuffs on the side of the road. You know when coming past? I thought there was something going on that was more. Nothing's going on. They're just doing this for no reason. Hello fam, welcome to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Wengil Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report comes from UK. Sasha Johnson posted this on her Instagram. Why have you been pulled over? For no reason. So what what did they say when identifying the stop? They tried to say drug search and drug then they search. said that we, we cut a red light. Cut you a cut a red light and it's for a drug search? Give the whole story to the lady, come on. What do you mean, give the whole story? Give the whole story. What is the whole story, sir? I'm sorry, I'm not blind to Look at where he's dressed, look at where he's dressed. Look at where he's dressed. Smart. It's wonderful. It's smart. It's wonderful. I have nothing on me as well, and the cuffs are so tight. I've loosened them, it's on my camera. What, what, is, the, what is the list that he's given you? Who's the driver of the car? The okay. okay. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you doing, darling? Are you okay? How are you doing? You're right. Yeah, I'm fine. Is that yours? Yeah. Bank card. Yes. Yeah. 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 They're searching the car and asking if she has a receipt for the products in the car. Three cars. In the middle of COVID. <laughs> this is what they want to do. I have no criminal convictions or anything. Well, don't play up for the camera. We are having a conversation. We are having a conversation. Don't, if you don't, don't answer him because he wants to antagonise you. So just don't answer unless you really have to answer. I've been getting along quite nicely. But when someone sees a phone, even though I'm recording... That's fine. So what? You said someone ran. Did you catch go again. It's just a bit Did they say someone absconded your car? Yeah. Where's the person that absconded the car? Did they go chase the person? Of course, right. I don't know what happened. No, 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 that's fine. I've got, I've got a, a driving license. Yeah, yeah. When you finish, take all their badge numbers. Take every single person's badge number. Pardon? You don't give badge numbers. You have to identify. You have to identify yourself. You still have. Okay, so he's going to take that. He's going to take the number. I didn't say you're in America. Stop being cheeky, because you know what you are. There's no need for you to be badge number. You don't know where I'm from. Have you asked me my nationality? Have you asked me my nationality? Have you asked my nationality? Don't let the badge fool you to jump to. Don't let the badge let you jump to conclusions now, son. A public service. Remember yourself. Right, let's come back and there's no trace, alright? Do you understand why you What, it's come back as what? No trace. But they put you in handcuffs on the side of the road. You know when coming past? I thought there was something going on that was more. Nothing's going on, they're just doing this for no reason. Shoulder number, badge number, it's still a badge. It's stitched on. It's still a badge. This happens to me all the time, I live here. So he doesn't have to be injured you stopped him he doesn't have to be injured the law says you have to identify yourself as the officer that stopped him so that's what he wants you lot are jokers the day will come fuck with my son and you lot will see that day no trace come back they handcuffed him at the side of the road So you're telling me they stopped this young man because he passed through a red uh, light, traffic light, but then they decided to put handcuffs on him and start searching him for drugs and everything. So yeah, I, I'm with her. She was interrogating them. She was filming and asking, why are you doing this? If you're stopping him for something, why are you searching him for something else? Is it because of his color of his skin? And I liked that she stuck around to make sure that everything is okay. And she was advising them to file a report and take the number, the badge number of the police so that they can follow up. That's the right thing to do. 
and I also appreciate that she saw a brother being mishandled she went there she filmed it she told him his right she told him what he needs to do so that they don't take advantage of him and he reports it and actually I think she helped because you can see that the young man started feeling confident and he started talking uh, to the policeman like okay you've seen I don't have anything so what why am I still here you know you you can see that he gained confidence after uh, she advised him so I like that and what do you think about this story do you think that they profiled him because he's black and you think they would have done the same thing if it was a different colored person do let us know down below I am Wingil Zalal I'm bringing you this report I'll see you on the next one bye